Hey everybody, it's Gamer Gramps here. Today we are going to be covering the Civ 6 early game strategies, more specifically how to avoid wars when possible, and if you do happen to get in them, then how to deal with it accordingly. So if that sounds like it might be something that you want to watch, then definitely stick around. If you want to get good at Civ 6, then subscribe and click the bell to keep up with this channel. All right, so this is actually the second part to, of the tutorial. Put a link to, in the top right corner to the first part if you do want to catch up. But other than that, we covered all the strategies and tactics in the first part. And now we're basically just going to be playing through and implementing them as we go and showcasing how you can use what we already talked about to avoid the wars and then how to deal with them when they do happen. But again, don't worry, I will be talking as we go forward. So if you did just come here randomly and don't want to watch the rest of it, you'll you'll be more than OK to you'll definitely pick up a lot of things here that can help you. Other than that, though, I'm just going to up here and we'll jump into what was recorded yesterday all right all right so here we are like i said i'm not doing every single turn in this i'm going to try and skip through this as quickly as possible and only focus and highlight on the stuff about how to survive on dd difficulty right so uh we turn two settled i settled on the citrus that will give us the luxury right away it'll or it'll also give us a four food base in our city which will help us grow very quickly as well Having that luxury immediately is going to be good because as soon as we do meet a civilization, we can immediately trade to them on turn one and get some gold, which will help us out in the early game. Um, also, I thought a little bit more about it, and I am still going to be opening greedy because I always open greedy. Like, that's how I play the game <laughs> because I'm comfortable with it on DD difficulty. So I'm not going to open stupid greedy, like where I'm going out of my way to play like ridiculously sloppy in order to like make things harder. I'm going to play these next two games and there is only going to be one more game after this, whether like somebody declares war on us or not. However, it happens. Uh, this video is taking forever. So uh, we're going to be zipping through this as quickly as we can here. However, these next two, I'm going to play them how I would normally play them. Um, and yeah. Like, I am still going to start with the religion, though. Like I said, I'd start every game with the religion, and we're not restarting. Like, if the next if the next spawn after we finish this ancient era is is crappy, I almost almost said the S word there. <laughs> Sorry. It's freaking 5.55 in the morning here. Uh, I'm a little bit overtired and being, being goofy. But anyway, uh, so yeah, I'm going to be playing exactly how I normally would open up these games, however we end up starting them. However, I will definitely be going for a religion and opening up and staying true to that much of it. Uh, and like I said, I do open greedy on a regular basis, so uh, we will still be opening greedy, just not stupid greedy. So first thing we're gonna do is go towards animal husbandry again. I think this is almost always a very good thing. Like unless you have tiles like that, say mining can, can like if we had luxuries that had mining that would open them up or we had a lot of tiles, like we do, we do have the two hills so we can get mining um, as well which I probably will. However, I like to get animal husbandry first because it shows horses on the map. And um, I I really like to settle near horses with my second and third city, if at all possible, just because it's a great tile to improve. Um, and then it, it comes in handy too, because it's an, it, it, you get horses, you find horses on the map, obviously, because we're doing it right now in 10 turns, way earlier than you find iron. And so you can start trading your strategic resources that you're not going to use. Like if you're playing a peaceful game, you can trade them away right away for gold, which you can then use for other things to help you improve them and play um, and buy things better. And, and yeah, anywho, I'll see you when there's something to talk about. All right, so it wasn't much, it wasn't a long wait. This is only a couple turns later. Uh, we were exploring, and this is what I mean and why I keep my warrior close and I don't explore like I used to because in the current iteration of the game, it seems like the barbarian camp spawning rates has greatly increased and uh, they are a lot more aggressive as well. Like I do, don't get me wrong, I do really enjoy them being more aggressive. It's a good thing in my opinion because it makes it more interesting. However, um, I am pretty sure, I'm not positive, but I'm pretty sure that glitch is still in the game. So maybe we're gonna see it right here. Um, time will tell, like, if, cause if we can get this scout out and keep their scout, like if, if their scout doesn't come here and see our city immediately, I'm pretty sure that no matter what, this, this camp is still gonna start spawning units regardless of if we keep the scout away from seeing our city or even if it sees our city if we kill it before it gets back to this camp i'm like 99 percent sure that there's still a glitch in the game where um it'll just start spawning units no matter what if you don't kill it right away all right so we actually did get quite lucky because the scout came up here so we're gonna pop up here 
and put the theory to the test anyway. We'll try and zone him out and keep him away. And then between our scout and the warrior, uh, we're going to try and kill the scout or at least get some experience for our scout here. Uh, but meanwhile, like I said, I do like to open up greedy. So I'm going to go from scout into a builder so we can get these tiles. Like we do still have a lot of nice tiles, but with our four with our four food production base in the city, our, our population, as you can see, is already going to be growing so fast that I want as many good tiles for them to work as possible. So that's why I'm grabbing the builder first. Hey everybody, Gamer Gramps here. I'm quickly interrupting just to say that if you're enjoying the video, please do me a favor and leave a like on it if you haven't already. It does really go a long way towards helping the channel get discovered. And clearly, you know it by now, I'm special. I need all the help I can get, right? All right, so we're chasing the scout here and I just happen to see these beautiful tiles up here. So let's definitely, uh, we're gonna try and avoid seeing that. I don't know if we'll be able to avoid seeing it. Um, but we're gonna try and avoid it for five turns until we get survey in so we get more experience. But if we if we uh, have to see it, we have to see it because I just wanna kill this barbarian scout. If there are no dogs and he's circling back around. So uh, we will do the same thing. And again, we're just trying to keep him pinned in here. Uh, meanwhile, uh, let's go for mining next. All right, and so we have been successful keeping him away from his goody hut here. So I'm going to start setting the warrior down. I'm going to send the scout over here to keep him sort of away. And again, we're just taking time down until I can get survey slotted in so we can go discover that natural wonder. All right, so uh, Brazil just found us on, on their turn. They, they bumped us into us somehow here. So again, uh, we're very close to our city. So really, realistically, this isn't going to help us. Like... Uh, so I'll just accept I'd invite him to our city because he's gonna find it anyway like he found us here and we're right there uh, so that's fine we did get our code of laws here so we're gonna put in survey like we talked about and um, we're gonna go with urban planning because again we're gonna be getting that bonus faith from our holy site uh, so I'm comfortable waiting for that faith in order to get our um, blah 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 pantheon <laughs> sorry <laughs> anyway so here too as well um we are going to instead of attacking them because we would attack them and not kill them and then the brazil would get the goody hut so i'm going to risk it we're going to skip the turn here um because they won't be able to one shot it like for sure i know that much because they're they're healthy enough so we're going to risk that because they might have a warrior here like if, if this isn't yeah, they might have a warrior here that they could double attack and they'll get the goody hut. Um, however, I'm going to chance it so that we do have a better opportunity to get that era score. In the meantime, uh, I'll definitely be going towards foreign trade because we'd like to get towards early empire. When we find out how close Brazil is to us, I might switch gears and go towards craftsmanship since we will be uh, improving the tiles here once we get mining. We'll have three tiles to improve. Um, meanwhile... We'll just go ahead and have our builder hang out and wait. Now that we have the survey card in, let's go up here and find this scout. Signe is a 250. Just wanted to take a sec to let you know I'm now an official partner of Fanatical Games. They're a great company that you can buy 100% guaranteed official game keys from, which is great because you purchase a Steam key so you don't have to worry about using a different installer like Epic Games or EA's Origin. You can find links in the description down below for both the Windows and Mac versions of the games I usually cover on the channel. But if you're buying anything else, just leave a comment below and I can give you a link for any game you're looking to buy. Believe it or not, they have deals on regularly that are even cheaper than purchasing directly from Steam itself. A perfect example of this is a new Frontier Pass for Civ 6. I literally bought it directly from Steam yesterday when it was launched, only to find out that it's on sale for 12% cheaper at Fanatical for the next 6 days. So before grabbing your next game, consider checking out Fanatical.com to help yourself and help support me at the same time. There we go, so we got his promotion for waiting there uh, to get the extra experience. And then in the capital, again I am playing greedy, so uh, we got, we went Slinger, Builder, and I need to go let my dog out, so what? All right, so where were we? Um, <laughs> all right, so yeah, we finished the Builder here in the capital, so that's going to be good. We're going to be able to get those up online as soon as we have mining. So again, I am being greedy. I'm 100% going to go straight towards the Settler here. Uh, meanwhile, like we talked about, again, we're trying to avoid early wars, so let's send him a delegation before I forget. 
so he likes civilizations who are not competing for great people and will recruit great people whenever possible, dislikes losing a great person to another civilization. So um, we actually might negatively trigger that because we are going to be going for a religion and he might also be going for a religion, which could be interesting. So we'll see. But for now, uh, we have minus three first impressions of us. So that is a good place to start. And we've completely counteracted that with our delegation. So onward and forward. Uh, so time will tell whether we'll get this barbarian camp here, and we do, so that is awesome. Go ahead and scoop that on in. All right, and meanwhile, let's try and track down this scout here and see if we can get, um, oh wait, I forgot we got our promotion already. So I'm gonna take the hill promotion on him. Uh, and so now we don't want to kill this scout unless we want the bronze working uh, boost, which we'll just send our warrior up that way um, in order to try and, and do that. And we'll just keep exploring with our scout there. Uh, in the meantime, we'll just put him to sleep. And now I'm going to start skipping more turns <laughs> than I have been. All right, so here we go. Uh, Brazil has sent both of their warriors up here. Now, they sent them there originally to deal with that barbarian camp, but now the barbarian camp is gone. So we are going to pay attention here, because uh, clearly I'm guessing, although we can't see it, their capital is probably very, very, very close, like I would imagine somewhere in here. Um, so a lot of times, this is exactly why you're watching the video, right? You want to see how to deal with it. So we're just going to leave our warrior in place. We're going to heal up here and see what they do. We'll keep an eye on them. Um, meanwhile, I don't want the scout going after our builder, so I'm going to pop over here and then I will start attacking him. Uh, so hopefully he heads the other way. Oh, no, he won't because um, I forgot we killed his camp, so he's actually aggressive and will fight, um, which is fine. We'll deal with that. Um, in the meantime, we'll get our warriors start to come back in order to deal with that i don't know if we'll survive his attack um so we finished mining anyways we'll actually move to this mine to do it first and then we will retreat to the capital real quick with that guy there uh meanwhile now let's head towards astrology we got the boost there so that's nice Okay, so now the scout got a little bit of, of healing here, so uh, I'm comfortable that he will survive an attack from that other scout if that does happen. So we'll move him out there to uh, stand guard for our builder while we get these other things going. Um, actually, considering I can reach this tile, we could get the pyramids. So I would... Oh, wait. I thought... Yeah, that is a hill. No, that's not a hill. <laughs> I'm seeing things now. I just saw, like, the little ruffle here. Like that little the ruffle made me think it was a hill for some reason, but uh, it is not. So let's go ahead and plan to put the pyramids there. Uh, and for that reason, what I am going to do, uh, because it seems to be ex that there, our borders are expanding down here, I'm going to go ahead and purchase one of these stone tiles here so that uh, that way we'll get the boost towards um, masonry so we'll be that much closer to getting the pyramids. Okay, so I kept our warrior going up here. There's, the scout killed himself on our warrior uh, because the scout is triggered. They do have better AI lately, but once the scout loses its thing, it goes uh, bat poop crazy. Um, so anyways, we're going to pop up here quickly with the warrior to see what's up here. Um, and I want to send the scout now that we don't have to worry about the barbarian down there um, to head down here to keep an eye out for Brazil. And well, let's go explore and see what is around there. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm glad that we did decide to come up here and take a look because uh, we ended up finding another barbarian camp. So that is good news for us that we can deal with it quickly before it has a chance to get too crazy on us. Alright, so Brazil's warriors are still there. I'm going to leave our scout here to see uh, what they do. And they do seem to be disappearing, or disappearing, I mean dissipating. So, uh,. We're going to keep coming forward. I want to find out where they are. Meanwhile, for our warrior here, uh, I'm going to come up onto the hill. Ooh, good, he got two. Nice. Um, and then we'll heal up before we start attacking it. All right, so we finished our settler here in the capital. Um, I got a nice little spot here planted for us. It's on a plains hill, so we'll have a 2-2 production start. Uh, 
and some really nice tiles that are nearby, not to mention the volcano. We are two tiles out, so hopefully we'll get less damage if it does start erupting and whatnot. Um, but we'll also be closer to getting those horses online. And then on top of that, it's also going to trigger Brazil because we'll be settling near them. So maybe there's a chance that they do decide to attack us after all, which would be decent. So again, like I said, because I am playing this how I normally would play this about this time, I would probably be going for a slinger here. And we still have two turns before we get Astrology to plant our Holy Site down. Alright, so we got Astrology. Uh, we got Astrology, and you do see here as well that their borders are very close by. So I'm assuming that probably is their capital. So if we do settle here, it is going to trigger them, and we probably will get into a war. Which is fine. Like, a war, an early war isn't the end of the world. Um, you just want to be prepared for it, essentially. So what we'll be doing... Oh, and two, I also forgot um, we want to sell them our citrus. I totally forgot that we had that, so we'll go ahead and do that now. And again, we're selling it for bulk gold because we have stuff that we can actually do with the gold. It's, it's better than gold per turn. Not to mention, if they do decide to be dicks and attack us, it'll free up our citrus that we can sell to somebody else if we end up meeting somebody. Um, so speaking of which, now that we have that cash, uh, I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is... Do I want to buy a scout to go meet somebody? No, I'm going to go ahead and buy us a slinger for 140 bucks. Or should I buy a trader to trade with them? And make a better, better impression so they might not attack us. Hmm. Hmm. I think I'll go with the slinger because we're going to be um, getting our holy site up and running here. Uh, meanwhile, now that we do have Astrology, because they are closer to us, we're going to go for Archery so that uh, if if it goes down, at least we, in a perfect world, will <laughs> not be caught off guard. So I'm going to come back with the Scout here just so that our Settler isn't completely unescorted in case they do trigger us. They could, our Scout could at least tank a shot and um, the Settler could then run, run for his life. <laughs> Uh, meanwhile, let's go straight towards craftsmanship here. I want to definitely get towards the gauche in case we do have to defend ourselves. Um, and But now that we can plant our holy site, let's go ahead and do that. Um, we'll just go ahead and plant it here. Because although we would get plus one for being here right now, we're probably going to chop those forests, or at least I would if I was playing this game regularly. So that's why we're doing that. Uh, meanwhile, we're almost he healed up here. Actually, you know what? We're healed up enough because we are close to our promotion already. So let's go ahead and attack them. It should be fine. If you've learned a lot from my videos, consider supporting the channel by becoming a member. There's three different choices that you can choose from, all for different prices. But for as little as $5 a month, you can help to make this channel successful and ensure that we continue to put out videos that you enjoy. And they were kind enough to move off of our tiles, so thank you so much, Brazil. Uh, we'll have the scout hang out for a minute here still, though. Uh, meanwhile, here, we'll heal up for one turn and then attack them. We'll get our promotion and that should be fine. But let's immediately get our slinger heading down towards there. Oh, did I not finish that other slinger? Oh, my bad. Meant to get that first. All right, right back into our holy site. Two slingers should be in more than enough to handle our business. I think this is the scout from up here, so that's fine. Uh, let's hit them there. We'll take the promotion next turn if they don't attack us. <laughs> yeah, should have waited a second turn. But let's grab the city. And we're going to start with a builder right away. Uh, but meanwhile, we'll have to wait for a turn or two and then we can buy, buy the, um, the tile here to, to put the better holy city. I don't like to put districts near volcanoes, but sometimes you can't really help it. And we don't have any other tile other than this one right here, which would be for zero adjacency. So, uh, here in the city, though, I'm going to go ahead and start them on a monument first until we can afford to get that tile going. All right, and they didn't attack us, thank God. So now, let's go ahead and start finishing them off. 
and I actually changed my mind. We can afford to get this tile right now. Uh, however, I'm going to quickly buy the horses here. Um, so that we can work that tile because it's it's going to help the city grow. Like we do have this tile here, but at least this way, um, at least this way we'll be getting one production and that city will grow faster, which will help us deal with loyalty too as their cities get bigger. Uh, meanwhile, you can see here that their borders just closed. So uh, unfortunately, I'm going to have to wait for a couple turns until we can actually afford to... Um, to pay for him to open his borders to help us out there. But in the meantime, our scout is healed up. Let's go ahead and take a peek around and see what we can see. Does he know somebody? I just was seeing his damage tiles. Okay, he does know somebody, but he's friendly with them. Um, so let's kill that. We got our boost towards bronze working. And we'll move our slinger up onto the hill tile here. And we're going to do the same thing with this one. So that we're in a nice fortified position uh or sorry a nice defensive position in order to deal with them if they do come and i'm the way their army's just hanging here i'm really starting to think they are going to come all right so we got the moderate flood that's fine uh next turn we're going to switch out of archery here because you can see there's still a sliver left so if we get the boost we will still have to put another turn into it and i um want to have it completely researched so all we need to do is kill a unit and then we'll have archery uh speaking of which we finished our holy site in the capital that's great let's go ahead and actually get that builder real quick because again if you can avoid a war i would like to avoid a war because the production i'm going to have to be spending to to fend them off and and deal with them is and, and the gold to upgrade the archers etc etc like ideally we'd be spending that to buy tiles and get builders faster and chop out the pyramids and all that other fun stuff that we want to do. Uh, meanwhile, though, is he going for it? Let's check for great people, for uh, great profits and see. Okay, so he's not going for a religion, so I don't think we'll piss him off by... Um, I don't think we'll piss him off by going for a great profit, which is kind of good. Um, and then in the meantime, since we got that barbarian hut, let's definitely go ahead here and we are going to pay him for his open borders. And uh, that should help us out. Let's check our relationship real quick. And so we pissed him off by settling near them, but everything has balanced out so far. So, so far so good. God willing, we won't be getting in a war with them. Meanwhile, let's pop this goody hut here because that scout's going to come attack us anyways. We might as well be in a better defensive position um, while that happens. And then on top of that, we got some cash, which is nice. Uh, so yeah. And now that we have their open borders, let's go ahead and take a look at what they got going on. So that wasn't their capital. That's good to know. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Our warrior might die. <laughs> Hopefully we can get him back on time. Uh, meanwhile, let's switch out of archery. And um, we want to go towards masonry for the pyramids. All right, so far so good. We managed to run away with our build or our warrior. I never thought I'd be running away from a scout with a warrior, but there you go. Something new happens all the time. I think we're okay actually with Brazil because um, they're not approaching our borders. Like they would be moving their troops forward um, towards our borders if they were being aggressive, and they're staying back. So uh, that is good to see, or not so good, depending on whether you want to see me get in a war or not but i guess if the lesson is trying to there if the tutorial is trying to teach you how to avoid wars it is better although less entertaining if we manage to avoid them successfully right Skill all right there you go we've got craftsmanship i think what we will do uh we only have the one scout anyway so i'm gonna get it out of survey since he's already promoted um and we're gonna put a gojin because i'm gonna go for uh getting one um i'm gonna get one more slinger here with that policy card on since especially since we just finished the trader in the capital uh we'll grab a quick slinger and then we'll switch out of that when we get our next one but we will go towards early empire here in order actually no i take that back we'll go towards state workforce because we want to get to pyramids 
But then we still have to get builders before we get to pyramids. So yeah, I'd rather go towards early empire in order to get another settler out. Uh, in the meantime, though, we are going to send it to Brazil in order to improve our relationship. And I'll take Bellum because it's the uh, it's four turns shorter than the other one. And they both have the same things. But there you go. We sent the trade route to Brazil. So now you can see automatically, too, if we check our relationship again. Now our positive modifiers outweigh the negative ones. Like it's minus four for uh, the different things there and we have plus seven so uh, I really seriously doubt that he's going to attack us at all um, so in the meantime I'm happy with the scout I'm just go oh, barbarians hello <laughs> this is what I mean lately the barbarians are friggin crazy so we finished the slinger I'm going to head straight into a shrine we definitely want to get that religion going, or we would if I was actually playing this. We got eight turns left until the era ends, and we are on to our third game. But now you can see, hopefully you're starting to pick up on the patterns and the different techniques and strategies that we're using um, in order to avoid early war. And this is how you do it. Like, it's it's really, really, really fairly easy to avoid wars entirely on DDD. Like, I... and. Like, I'm not trying to brag by any means, but in most of my games, like, unless I'm playing a domination game where I want to fight, I very rarely get in a war. Like, I'll, I play peaceful games probably a good 80% of the time, and when I don't, it's just those random times where um, it's just unavoidable. Like, sometimes it, it really is unavoidable, and it just is the way it is, but a lot of times, like, you're seeing... You can still open up greedy and just be be just fine. Shot an arrow into the air. Alright, so we got the boost towards archery. So now, like, I'm actually going to just end this here and we're gonna jump into the next game because for one, he's not going to attack us. Like he's just not. Like we're he'll be willing to declare friends like very shortly because his relationship like i said we're overpowering the positive modifiers right um but meanwhile even if he even if he were like actually you know what this is what we're gonna do um we're gonna run our little scout away here so that he can't be attacked and just to make things interesting we are actually going to declare war on him like i'm not going to play this for very much longer like we will play a little bit into the classical era so you can see um but I'll declare a war here so you can see us defend like he's not in a war this time he has 195 combat strength compared to our 59 so um this is what would happen if he would were to just attack us and we didn't use all the strategies that we did use to avoid the war here's the war anyways let's deal with it and uh, go from there so first things first is i'm not going actually you know what maybe i should move back I was going to say I'm not going to move back because they won't be able to attack us um, next turn, but then they'd be able to double attack us the following turn. So I am going to move back and take the promotion, or not the promotion, but upgrade to the archer. Same thing here. Um, and now we are immediately going to go to work on our holy site here, and I guess we're too poor to buy that. So in the meantime... What we'll do is go ahead and start on a builder, actually, in order to get these tiles up online and help the city be better. Um, meanwhile, our slinger down here can head down yonder because he is going to be needed. And same thing with our warrior. Uh, it would be nice to get the warrior into the city center in order to have the higher combat strength in order to defend the um, Brazilians when they do come. But in the meanwhile... Uh, now that we do have the archer... Oh, wait, I guess it's the same thing, really. Well, not really. I'll move here. Yeah, there you go. That's fine. Uh, so, what we're going to do, though, is we're going to send the trader to Rostavi and then send it back to the capital, because this is our smaller city, so we want to build stuff and grow faster. Um, but, yeah. Alright, so we finished masonry. <clears throat> so we could build the pyramids if we wanted to. Alright, so uh, in the capital we finished our shrine there. I'm going to quickly pick up a scout real quick because I would like to run um, to the east and find somebody else in order to sell our luxury to them in order to be able um, 
to do stuff like say buy that tile so we could get our nice holy site down <laughs> because uh, I still need to upgrade the slinger to an archer as well. Oh, that was a mistake. Oh well. But anyway, uh, Brazil's starting to get closer, so we'll just start taking shots at their units. We're going to poke forward with a scout and use it for vision. Uh, we're only going to go one tile at a time, though, so that we can't be attacked because we're in hard terrain. So um, if we were to move here, they, if they could, if they had any warriors here, they could just uh, attack us immediately. Meanwhile, let's take another shot at their slinger, and we killed it. That's nice. All right, so now let's poke forward, and you can see they have quite a few barbarians, so let's just jump up onto the hill here where we're nice and safe. And meanwhile, we're going to start poking forward with our archers. And this slinger can just heal up. we still got a ways to go before we get uh, enough money to upgrade them, so let's try it. we got the scout here, we're going to try and do something about that, and ooh. Uh... Okay, so we're going to pop back here because he won't be able to attack us, and then we'll cross the river and uh, probably there, and he still won't be able to attack us. But meanwhile, let's go ahead and grab one more archer in the capital. Uh, let's take a quick look, too, at great people. There's only one person who's founded a religion, and we are earning two, which is tied with somebody else who, who is uh, earning them. So we are in good shape to get our religion now, especially once we get that nice holy site up here. Um... And then once we get early empire next turn as well, we're going to slot in the uh, conscription policy card in order to start saving us some money so that we can upgrade our archer that much faster and do that much more damage. All right, so now they're coming forward to play. Look back over the pass. That is all well and good. Uh, uh, we're going to leave the a gauge in because I'll probably buy a couple more archers here. Um, and then meanwhile, oh, is it state workforce? Oh, my bad. It is state workforce. So uh, we're we're going to not go straight for state workforce. We're going to take military attrition force first so that our units grant get flanking and support combat bonuses. Uh, meanwhile, I'm going to leave our scout here to take that hit. We're still going to heal up our slinger there. Um, and... The warrior is coming there, so we are going to cross where we talked about. And meanwhile, we do have this builder done, so let's go ahead and get that horse online. And again, we still are in no way able to afford that holy site there that we want it. So um, we might as well go ahead and start working on some more troops. And this is what I mean why you want to avoid a war, because like, look at all this production that we're sinking into like combat units, which... Um, which we could have avoided. But meanwhile, I'm all, always used to taking free inquiry because it usually is the best choice if you don't get a golden age in the classical era, unless you're playing a religion. And then Exodus of the Evangelist is much, 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 much superior to it. Uh, the the error score that you'll end up getting from spreading your religion to your own cities and then other cities is, it just, in my opinion anyway, it's the much better, much better choice. Uh, so our scout here is just going to heal up. I don't care if he gets attacked, he can tank some damage for us. Uh, in the meantime, we are going to start taking shots at their warriors. And again, we're prioritizing this one because he has the promotion, so he can clearly do more damage, and uh, we want to kill him as fast as we can. Meanwhile, here, if you were really worried about this, like, I'm completely comfortable in this situation. <laughs> like, I, in fact, I could probably kill Brazil right now, which I actually might quickly do just to show you um, how, like, easy... If you have archers, you can wreck... Like, you can obviously 100% defend yourself with three archers from any early aggression no matter what uh, well not no matter what I suppose don't get me wrong it could be the odd situation but if you are really really worried about it you could take Victor for your first um, for your first governor here in order to get the plus five combat strength and pop him in that city where we're going to be doing some of the fighting however I like I'm not worried about it at all so I'm going to still stick with my plan and go ahead and take Magnus and we'll we will put him in this city though because um, because our holy site's so late, I'll want to chop it out, basically, because we want to have that holy site finished before we found our religion. Alright, so meanwhile, they attacked us. That's fine. 
Uh, they did decide to leave our scout alone there, so <laughs> we are actually going to kill their unit with our scout. Uh, good boy. Meanwhile, we still have a ways to go before we're at 20 gold. The warrior is chasing after us, but we don't care because we're across the river and can leave him behind. Uh, meanwhile, we do not have the promotion yet on this archer, so we're going to use him to do the attack and get some more experience. And meanwhile, this archer is promoted, so we are going to take... Ooh, actually... I almost always take the volley promotion out of habit when doing this. However, the garrison promotion is very, very good because if you plop your archers, especially if you're defending, sorry, okay, I take that back for a second. If you're defending, highly suggest the garrison promotion because that plus 10 combat strength is ridiculous. Um, like having your archer sit in your city with plus 10 combat strength and just pepper whoever comes near you it's is a great way to defend yourself not to mention if you did have a district up having another one in that district is awesome too right uh however you can also use it on the offense like if we were to go in and attack them here and we put an archer here in the campus it would still get that plus 10 combat strength which is nice however um we're not going to worry about that because their districts are, are way down here and whatnot and i'm more concerned with fighting off like, you look at their combat strength, they're at 229 and we're at 80, so I'm a lot more concerned with killing off their units um, than I am with going on the offense right now until we're, we're ready for that. But with that being said, um, again, we're kind of simulating if they were attacking us, e even though I'm not going to, like, fully go and kill them. I know I said I might, but I'm not. I'm just going to show you that, like, we'll we'll defend their aggression until we're at the point where we could go and fight them, or we could at least make peace with them and have them pay us to make peace. So I'm actually going to move this slinger up here, um, hoping that the warrior does attack them in order, because he can't one-shot the slinger, and it will just get the slinger a little bit of experience, and we still have to wait a good while until we can improve our gold situation uh, before we can get him upgraded. And anyway, so at this point, he really is just, like, taking up space. But they decide to go for our scout after all, which is just fine with me. So now our brave and noble scout has tanked... <laughs> He tanked a shot for us, and on top of that, he killed a warrior, so he's done his job. He can pull back for some R&R. &R. Uh, in the meantime, though, uh, we're going to start dealing with this warrior here, and again, I'm playing this as if I would actually play it. I mean, sort of. I probably wouldn't have declared war, obviously. Uh, however, so I'm more concerned... Um, with getting our next city out. And so that's what we're going to do. We're going to plop in the colonization policy card. Um, we still can't afford that other tile. So I am going to leave a Gaussian because it just makes sense for us to um, to produce archers here in this city until we can get to that tile in order to get our nice holy site going, as far as I'm concerned anyway. Uh, but meanwhile, in the capital, we're going to switch to a settler. All right, so we got our Pantheon here. I'm not really worried because I'm not really playing this game. Like, I might consider... Uh, I probably would, again, if I was playing this game, because we are going for religion, and for whatever reason we settled near the desert again, I probably would go for desert folklore here and would have um, planned accordingly with my next couple cities. However, I'm going to go ahead and grab the fertility, the fertility rights again here in order to get the free builder in our capital. And this is because... I'm going to use that free builder to chop out the pyramids for us if we ever expand our borders there. <laughs> so in the meantime, he can just go to sleep. Plus, not to mention, it's going to be convenient to repair the mines that that warrior is sure to pillage. Uh, meanwhile, even though they didn't attack us, that doesn't mean our slinger can't put in the little work that he can and, and attack them back, and then we'll finish them off with the archer. And again, just start peppering any any other units that come within range of you. Uh, let's go ahead and get that stone up online next. And he pillaged our mine, but we were expecting that. Meanwhile, yeah, this is pretty much it. So, um, 
we can take the promotion here with this archer that will heal him up nice um, and now what we're going to do is just slowly start inching forward we'll move here because again uh, because of the terrain here we know that we're completely safe to move up onto this hill I mean worst case scenario they'd have an archer that would like hit us once and then we could pull back if we needed to however with their melee units they can't touch us because of the terrain they, they won't be able to move and attack up onto a hill uh, we still gotta wait for you <laughs> god i really would like to bump into another ai so hopefully we can make that happen all right so we got ourselves another archer um So we'll play Ring Around the Rosie. We're going to pull this slinger back and move forward here. Again, I'm not stepping here because by stepping there, they could have units like here or here and like they could double, well, I guess single attack us because there's only one tile in between. But still, like we'd open ourselves up to a shot that we might not be able to or we don't necessarily need to take that, right? There's no reason to take that shot. So by moving over here onto the hill, um, because we wouldn't be able to get back up onto the hill or back into the jungle because of the terrain. That's why I'm avoiding doing that until we can step forward with both of our archers, or better yet, all three of our archers, and that way if somebody does take the shot between the three archers, you can just kill whoever it hit them and then you're safe, right? Um, meanwhile, I'm just, for experience, going to go ahead and start peppering them there and we'll move out with our archer over here. Why won't you just expand there? Ugh. I'm actually just going to go for a settler here. Like, there's no need for us to keep building all, all these military units. This is more than enough to defend. And it's probably enough to actually go and attack and start killing their cities. Like, especially receive. But I'm going to go for Bellum first. Uh, just because there's lots of nice open terrain here, which uh, serves us well on, on top of that. Meanwhile, we'll tell that Slinger to go to sleep until now. And, oh, I, I would have got that out online sooner. I was thinking, for whatever reason, I was thinking I needed irrigation. I didn't realize it's it's uh, ivory and we could build it with a camp. So that'll be nice to get. Uh, meanwhile, let's head over here and we'll deal with that barbarian as soon as we can. All right, so we're going to poke forward here. Uh, we'll move here because it's safe. Because they wouldn't be able to attack us because of the terrain again. I know I might be uh, repeating myself a bit, so I'm sorry. But now that we know it's safe, we're actually going to do very similar things here with the scout. Just, oh, settler, hello. Um, we are going to skip turn there with him. Meanwhile, we'll come over here with this one. We'll start bringing our warrior down. And again, we'll wait a hot minute there with with them uh meanwhile i am going to go towards irrigation i i'm not crazy right yeah we did have irrigation um luxuries that's why it was in my head but we'll go ahead and do that again we're not going to be buying any tiles or anything in order to boost the irrigation so we'll just hard research it it's not the end of the world but let's go ahead and finish that warrior there and repair this oh my god this is going to be a marathon of video <laughs> oh All right, so they levied some troops as well, so this should be fun to start peppering them. And can our scout grab... Our scout can grab that, but will he survive is the question. So we'll actually just move over there. Um, we're going to move forward with our warrior there. Forward with our archer, forward with this archer. And now... <clears throat> we'll hit that guy and double tap him again. Because now he's too injured, most likely they won't attack. They'll probably try and save him and run him away. Uh, meanwhile, this archer, we're doing okay here. Let's go poke around and see if we can find that barbarian camp. Uh, we fixed all that crap. Oh yeah, we want to chop for the pyramids, right? Right, and we're 
almost at state workforce, so that's good. But had I been thinking, I would have moved Magnus, so we're going to have to wait for five turns. But that's fine. We'll just head over there and be ready. Alright, so they did... Uh, we did take the shot there from them. That's fine. Alright, so it's all about killing units. Um, so what we're going to do is kill this chariot here. Um, we're going to start with the archers first, and then the warrior should finish him here. And now that we know that is taken care of, uh, we can actually move this archer forward here so he's out of range of that warrior, and then we'll take a shot on, on the warrior in the meantime. And we finish state workforce, by the way. Oops, what did I want to switch? Oh yeah, we can switch out of a goge now uh, and put conscription in to save us money. That's what I wanted to do. Uh, meanwhile, are we almost done that settler? Let's take a look. I think we are almost done the settler. Yeah, so we can switch out of that as well. And, <clears throat> and put in corvée because yeah, we're going to want to... Um, we're going to we're gonna be chopping the pyramid, so we want that boost in for the wonders. And then it's going to be a bit, because we're going to be going for political philosophy next. So it is going to be quite a bit before we unlock the next policy card. So that's why I'm putting it in here, even though we still have four turns until Magnus is established. Uh, that's why I'm doing it that way. But again, we're putting conscription in there. Meanwhile, let's take another look at the great people here. All right, yeah, so it's just, still just one religion has gone. That's fine. We're slowly making our way up there. I think actually after this settle, settler, what I'll probably do is run a holy site prayer or two. Uh, meanwhile, we're, I feel like, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> I'm overtired, I know. But I was going to say, I feel like uh, I'm more fun. <laughs> we're hunting for rabbits, but we're hunting for barbarians. So I'm going to play it a lot safer. And... Uh, we're only going to move one tile at a time, and I'm going to come up onto these hills so that we can see that camp, just so that we don't get caught with our pants down there. Alright, so we got the ivory up online, which is nice. It's going to give us plus three gold there, plus with the conscription, we're at a healthy plus 6.3 per turn, so we should be able to upgrade the slinger in a few turns. Uh, not to mention, we do have another luxury online, so if we do manage to come across somebody, God willing, it'll be sometime soon. Well, at least we found a city-state, so we got political philosophy boosted. But hopefully we find another AI so that we can... Um... So that we can... Dot, dot, dot. Sell our luxuries and get some gold to use. Uh, in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and take Pingala here since we do have another promotion. We want to get our science and culture going fairly quickly. So let's see if they get brazen and attack us with the heavy chariot. Ooh, what did they attack us with there? And see, he's ready to make peace. So there you go, okay? I think this is where we're going to leave it because this is already an absurdly long game. Um, I'll refuse the deal right now just so we can come take a look. Uh, but yeah, you can see how like we're in a position now where literally we could outright kill them pretty much like we've gotten him down now his once 200 or whatever strength it was is down to 116 and it's going to be even less when we kill this warrior here like if um we just play ring around the rosy here and move forward there Right, so that's what I mean. Like, see what I mean? Like this, not only we defended, quote-unquote, we defended the war that they started with us when we only had three archers, which bought us time to get more, even though we technically didn't need it. If we were just defending, I would have done it fine with just two or three archers and not pressed forward like this. Um, however, there you go. There's the example, okay? Uh, but we're going to leave it here, and we're going to jump to the next one. So again, I'm not going to edit it, just for those... You know, <laughs> those uh, pessimistic people or whatnot. Uh, we're just going to hit restart here and see what the next map unfolds for us. Fierce Tamar. All right, so here we go. 
now I, I just realized I was like petting my dog and talking real stupid to her. Now I kind of want to edit that out. So if you if you don't see part of that freaking uh, loading screen, you know be, you don't know why it's because I was too too vain. Um. All right. Uh, pum, 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 pum. I think I'm just going to settle in place here. We don't have fresh water. I mean, like, I could move here and turn to settle on the sugar, which actually might be a decent idea. We don't have any sort of bonus for our holy site in the immediate vicinity, so that's a little bit meh. But uh, we do have a nice campus spot. Let's take a poke out with our warrior first and see if there's... Yeah, there's nothing in the immediate vicinity. Like, there's a nice city location here, too, which we can... If we moved, we'd screw up. Um, so, yeah, we'll just settle in place. But again, with this one, I am going to skip forward, like, a lot more than the next one. We're not declaring any silly wars in this. Like, you saw an example of, of how to defend yourself, quote-unquote, and then how to take advantage of it and press press the attack with archers and whatnot. Because, really, like, archers just own own in the early game and they're all you need to defend yourself and then once like if say for instance we weren't going and i only defended with two or three archers or whatever it was at the very beginning there you could just sit back in good defensive positions kill their units and then they'll like bleed out on you because they'll just keep coming forward and their whole army like whatever that 200 and whatever military strength was i keep i'm gonna have to edit that out i swore i swore there i edited it out but i i swore because i keep rubbing my face because I got freaking from petting my dog I got dog hair on my hand and then oh it's bugging my allergies but anyway uh, so my face is itching but anyways like I, I said there you, you just sit back in defensive positions and just let them bleed out they'll keep sending that whole like 200 whatever military strength army towards you and you just slowly kill it piece by piece and then once you've killed enough of their units they'll just make peace or and then you don't have to waste production like even like i said two or three archers is more than enough to defend against an early attack and then once you make peace again just restart the process try to do everything you can to positively trigger like pay for open borders right away that's plus three in the right direction on the relationship scale freaking send them a trade trader freaking try to trigger their their dedication you can still like be declared war on defend it with minimal production investment like just with the like, two or three archers make peace once they kill their army on your archers and then declare friendship with them fairly soon in the future like it it really is possible uh but again, I, most cases, don't get me wrong, if they declare war on me, it triggers me, and I usually take a city or two before I stop. And it's just, because if I have to produce units, I might as well get some some, <laughs> some value out of the production I invest in those units. Anyway, uh, again, we're going to zip through this. I know I said that the last time, but I'm really going to try out <laughs> this. I and uh, I'll just skip ahead to where we have something to talk about. All right, so we found two barbarians here. Uh, well, we found the barbarian hut up here, but then we also found a scout that came from the south here. So I'm not really going to worry about this one, to be completely honest, because uh, Preslov is so close by here that they'll probably take care of it for me, um, and I'll just let that happen. In the meantime, I will just wait a turn or two, because if they have a warrior that's right there, I might try and, and hold back to snipe this out for the error score and the gold. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. But meanwhile, he, down here, um, we're going to just start smacking this scout to gain some experience and try and, yeah, ward him off away from our city. Uh, I'll wait one more turn with this guy, since I have to go all the long way around anyway. It's not that much of an, of an investment in time. All right, so we really don't have any good locations for holy sites here naturally. Um, I think that's pretty obvious. So in this situation, what I would do would be uh, how I have been when we get to Court of Laws. I have been always going into the urban planning in order to go for the production since I'm like, oh, well, I'll get my holy site and that will get me the faith for the Pantheon, blah, blah, blah. Well, that's all well and good when you have like a sem semi-decent holy site to at least work with. Uh, however, this is pretty much garbage for what we're intending. So in order to try and counteract that, what I'm, I'm going to be doing is we're going to assume that we are going to get the uh, Sacred Path Pantheon, which gives you plus one adjacency bonuses for being next to rainforest tiles. And so in order to make that happen, 
uh, well, sorry, the builder has nothing to do with making that happen. My bad. I'm getting the builder so that we can uh, get, get craftsmanship since we have mining and whatnot. Uh, we'll get that going real quick and that will be that. But then um, I will be taking the God King policy card in instead because, again, we're going to try and uh, get things going as quickly as we can. So speaking of which, in order to make this happen, hold on, I need to count this out before I look silly. Uh... All right, so it's not a crazy boost or anything by any means. However, uh, we'll put, we'll plan to put it down here, as we'll get two, we'll get two God willing from those two tiles. Um, so we don't have to chop any jungle, but let's double check that because we'll want to settle another location here very quickly. And uh, yeah, that'll work out. So what we do is settle here on top of the sheep, and I would put the holy site here. And that would then be one, two, three, f it'll be a plus four on its own. And uh, we only need mine to chop that for us, so that works. I was just trying to, I was trying to figure out in my head whether we needed to get to bronze working real quick in order to chop the, the rainforest, but uh, I think we should be okay without it. So in the meantime, we are going to go straight for, a s oh wait, hold on. Yeah, we got mining for that. Oh, to ir sorry, my bad. We need to get uh, irrigation in order to clear this marsh. So uh, we need to go straight for pottery, not for um, astrology. Because there's no point getting astrology if you can't make a holy saint, right? Uh, meanwhile, we got our second scout here. Let's have him at least get to out there, and then we'll start manually controlling them. All right, so we didn't get lucky. Apparently, Presloff does not know those barbarians are there. So we'll have to come around the south side. Oh, speak of the devil, finally they come. Uh, so at least we know that they should be okay. Let's head down here. We'll get that next time. I don't know where that barbarian camp was, where that other one came from. Weird, I have no luck when it comes to finding barbarian camps in this day, it seems. All right, so we got 40 gold. That's nice. In fact, I'm going to spend some of that 40 gold. I'm going to buy that tile um, and force them to work it so that we grow a little bit faster in the capital. There we go. We found it. It wasn't too, too far off. That's fine. Uh, I definitely want my warrior to heal up, though, before we go ahead and attack it. So I'm just going to pop into the forest for some nice defense. Uh, and then meanwhile, we got Code of Laws. So like we talked about, we are going to put God King in instead of urban planning this time and i still will go for survey though because i always do uh, i'm more than comfortable killing a barbarian camp with just one warrior and in case you don't know the trick to killing barbarian camps with one warrior if you don't have discipline slotted in is when they're at full health you attack the, the barbarian camp once and then you let your unit fully heal back up again and once it's at full health again then you attack again and attack a second time and that earns you your promotion which you'll still be alive you take your promotion and then you can finish them off the next turn um that's the method to the madness anywho this game i'm actually going to go for craftsmanship first because we are going to be improving three tiles for one and i also want to get to the ilkum policy card because we're going to need to get builders up and running in order to kind of make these cities what they can be as fast as we can be so we'll go ahead and do that this time. Ooh, there's actually some tiles over there that we can make good holy sites on. Okay, so good news is Presslob is going to take care of that for us. So we can just continue on our merry way. Meanwhile, there's no fresh water over here, though. So that's With a little bit unfortunate. Brightly, Ooh, that's nice. That is one badass holy site. Right there, baby. And that is 100% worth settling off fresh water for. Uh, because not only will we get... It, it's gonna this wonder gives you plus two um great merchant points per turn and plus great uh general points per turn so you can uh because you get it so early in the game you can end up um getting the first great general and the first great merchant for free essentially because you get there usually before anybody else does even if they're like concentrating well especially you get the great merchant <laughs> because it takes them a while to get to uh to commercial hubs, so you do get that for sure, but even a lot of times you will get the Great General as well. Uh, but anyways, we're going to heal up that warrior like we talked about. This guy earned his promotion, so we're definitely going to take the Ranger promotion since there's so much jungle and, and uh, forests around. Um, but then again, so this will be 
Is that two tiles of it that it's next to? Yeah, so it'll be plus four, plus five, plus six, plus seven holy site, and it'll get us three air score. That is definitely, definitely worth it, in my opinion. Uh, so actually, we are going to switch into that immediately and go for a settler. Good potter's hand. All right, and we just saw the markings here. There is another civilization nearby us, so let's go ahead and pop across, and we'll meet them soon enough. So we really, really, I'm glad that we started that settler right away because we want to get this city before they do um, at all costs, even if we end up pissing them off, so what? Uh, meanwhile, this barbarian camp just started spawning units. Again, this is what I mean. Their scout, is that's their scout right there. Their scout has not gotten anywhere, almost swore again, but it has not gotten anywhere even remotely close to us, and it's already starting to spawn units. <laughs> this is Jinx, everybody. <laughs> hey, off Jinx, go. Hey, off. Good girl. Uh, but yeah, anywho. Oh. <laughs> I moved there. I thought I, I was thinking that was a scout that was promoted. So I'm like, oh, I have, I'll just walk through the freaking tiles. But anyway. Um, meanwhile, here, we're just going to fortify and let that warrior bang his head on us. Uh, what we're going to do is pop over here next turn with the scout, meet them, and then send the scout over to try and help our warrior out if in case we need it ah it's coupe all right so again rinse and repeat right same thing sure we sampled his op oh oh if that settler oh oh, oh, oh. if they on escort them for any reason uh we're going into an early war but anyways aside from that same thing send a delegation Right, check the relationship status. So there you go. Here's an example. Okay, minus eight first impressions of you. So this is what I mean. That is almost impossible to overcome. He's gonna denounce us, or like almost guarantee it. He'll denounce us within a turn or two, and he is likely to attack us. So this will be good. We'll go settle the city and piss him off even more. And now I, I technically I should have. It's a, it's better practice to check the relationship status first because a lot of times. You want to just say, screw it, and um, you want to just say, screw it, and save yourself the $25 and not send the delegation if they're like minus eight. Like, it's almost unsurmountable to come back from that um, without getting into a war with them, especially if we're going to be early settling it or forward settling him here, I mean, and pissing him off, right? Uh, in the meantime, though, we're actually going to go ahead and smash this warrior, and we won't kill him, that, which is fine. But we will survive his attack. We'll let him kill himself on us. And then I do believe we should end up getting the promotion from that. Uh, or pretty close to it anyway. Alright, so we didn't get our promotion. <laughs> but uh, we should survive his attack there. And uh, that should give us a promotion. And then we'll be able to heal up. Because we, again, we're fortifying until healed. So our healing will happen before... Uh, he attacks us, so that's why we should survive. Meanwhile, let's gobble up that goody hut. If we can't steal their settler, at least we can grab a goody hut. And there you go, it worked out just like we wanted it to. So we'll take our promotion, and again, we'll heal up so we can deal with that barbarian camp. Alright, we finished boosting craftsmanship. We got three turns on that settler. Ah, there you go. We met Germany. Sure, we'll exchange information. So he's way to the west. Uh, so let's go ahead and send that delegation. And check our things in minus seven. So there you go. Again, I need to practice what I preach. I should be checking that. And I normally would, but I'm just too tired and they were nice enough to give us another warrior to play with and again this is all without their scout ever seeing our capital or our city so we are just going to uh let them do their thing down there for now and we'll deal with it when we're better equipped to like moving on to this nice fortified uh 
I'm sorry, nice hill with jungle on it to fortify ourselves. And there's another barbarian camp spawning here. So that is actually really unfortunate for us because it's right in the way of where we want to go settle to. Um, so whatever, we'll just keep moving our warrior. Uh, now I will start a slinger because I want to get the city settled before the game ends. <laughs> and actually, speaking of that, let's head back with the scout too uh, and use all of our units to try and keep our settler safe. Uh, speaking of which, let's just skip turn. The scout can't reach us in, hold on. Yeah, can't reach us in one turn. So I think he's going to turn tail and head back to his hut there, but you never know. So yeah, he did. Okay. So we'll just take it nice and slow here. But unfortunately for us, that means he's coming to get us. So we'll head back across the river and have everybody meet up. And between this, the slinger and our warrior, hopefully that will be it enough. Um, I don't have a luxury, right? I never got a luxury online. No, I didn't. Okay. Just wanted to be sure. Actually, I think with the river uh, here, the river defensive bonus, that we should be okay to just fortify and heal there. Uh, and if not, we'll run after the next attack. Uh, meanwhile, we finished craftsmanship there. So now <clears throat> let's go towards uh, foreign trade here. And then in the meantime... We are definitely switching out of survey and putting discipline in this time around. <laughs> Alright, so we're more, more than okay there, especially with discipline slotted in now. Um, however, the scout's back, so I'm actually going to retreat one step and let the, our slinger escort us out. Meanwhile, let's do that again and get another slinger and just hang out there. Oof, barbarians. Alright, so that's one down at least. Meanwhile, our scout here hasn't actually been promoted yet, so we'll attack even though it's across the river. Ah, so there we go. We we actually triggered one of his agendas by accident. Uh, he likes civilizations that don't have a lot of cities. So let's take a look, and now we can see that there you go. Uh, we got plus 12 for satisfying his agenda. So we actually will be able to become friends with him, even though it was minus 8 when we first met him. Because we did send him the delegation, it does slowly chip away at it. But again, uh, if we hadn't have been lucky and been satisfying his agenda there, uh, it is very, very uncommon for you to be able to, uh, to come back from a minus 8 relationship modifier. Um without getting into a war of some sort. All right, so we're gonna come out slowly. We have another slinger coming and our scout here as well. Ooh, they already spawned a warrior. All right, we're gonna have to run our scout out of there. But good, Presloff is coming down to give us the assist. Uh, so we're not gonna go too crazy here uh, since we are gonna be needing to get to, uh, whatchamacallit? Astrology still after irrigation, but at least now we have um, Irrigation so we can get that down as soon as we want to and uh, we've gotten distracted enough I think we need to go into a monument here first and that should Hopefully give us a chance to work on the the um, On getting the astrology and finish the monument before we get get to astrology Oh, thanks, Barbarian Horseman. Just what we'd like to see. Thousands have lived. <laughs> and of course, we get a flood to injure our slinger before we even get a chance to use it. <sighs> All right. So, yeah, this is definitely one of those situations where I would put discipline in. Um, meanwhile, here, though, I am just going to hang out on a hill with jungle and let them bash into me um with this slinger i'm gonna actually come down here and i think what we will do is settle this city first and then settle that city next 
Uh, meanwhile, though, we are obviously going straight towards astrology. And uh, we should be okay to just hang out here and heal up with our scout. They can't attack us. All right, and so here's another example. Uh, I forgot. Again, I'm tired. It's been, <laughs> been doing this for a while. Like, clearly, if you're still here, you you know that I've been doing it for a while because it's a long, long, long video. Uh, but however, we we didn't look at his agenda when we first met him. However, we just satisfied it by not touching his city states. We triggered it positively. Oh my. Ah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we triggered it positively here. The Iron Crown. He likes civilizations who do not associate with city-states and does not like suzerains of city-states or civilizations who conquered city-states. So by not having a suzerainship uh, and not sending envoys out other than the first one that uh, meet that we got for Preslov, which we already had before we met him, we triggered his agenda positively. So... Uh, we should be able to declare friendships with both of them. And then this is, uh, again, how you survive on Didi, right? Like, both of them should be declared friends. And then there's literally nobody around us. We can just spam out our settlers other than dealing with these barbarians here, which uh, I think I'm just going to say screw it at this point. It's videos long enough. <laughs> if you're still here with me, I think you can appreciate that it's now like 7.30 in the morning and I need to call it quits. So, I mean, other than dealing with these barbarians, which we would be able to uh, slowly deal with them, especially with Law being right there as well, uh, we would have taken care of business. Um, but as you can see with both of those, like both of our relationships here, there it's just like literally a matter of time before they have... Uh, little green faces on them and we can declare friendships like even right now we might be able to because sometimes sometimes you can squeak in a friendship even if they're not um with a green smiley face but whatever you know what for the sake of argument just in case i'll hang out for a couple more turns here um in order to prove what i'm talking about and I'm just kind of moving down here to consolidate our forces all close together since the Barbarians are spawning quite a big party of their own. Alright, so now that that Slinger is there, we actually have to start being a little bit aggressive. Um, but it'll be okay because we'll actually have the city here to defend with as well. So we'll just keep cycling our units down here. We'll get out of range of their slingers, and then from the, from the comfort of our city, we'll be able to deal with their forces. Um, but yeah. Alright, so they killed themselves on our slinger. It's all well and good. We'll go for a builder here. So, meanwhile, though, our Slinger is nice and safe inside of our city, and our Warrior soon will be as well. Uh, our Scout, however, needs a GTFO, so let's do that. And there you go, we met another one. We'd love to sample your hospitality, sure. Uh, and then, let's check Katarja again. We know that she... We're going to easily be able to trigger this, so we would easily be able to make her happy. But let's check the relationship... It's minus four for an unknown reason. We'll send the delegation to start chipping away at that. Uh, not to mention, let's double check, everybody still has open borders, and they do, so none of them have early empire yet, which is fine. Um, but again, we would use some of our gold in order to... Ah, there you go. So he's sending a delegation back to us. You know once they send you a delegation that uh, it's pretty much all over as far as um, you being worried of, of them attacking you. Like, don't get me wrong, there are... Oh, sorry, and I'm taking Garrison here so that uh, he can hang out in in uh, in the city and, and deal plus 10 combat strength. Because now, like, if you look at his range combat strength, he has a range combat strength of 30 when I think archers are 25. Yeah, they have a... Archers have a base range strength of 25, so he's stronger than an archer in his current status because he's hanging out in the city. Ah, meanwhile, there you go. She just closed her borders. 
So again, make deal, pay for the open borders. That's on the high end of things. Like I said, normally it's between 12 bulk gold and 19. So 17 is pretty high up there, but still, again, it's not gonna take much for us to, to start wearing her down. Uh, meanwhile, we'll heal with the scout. Play Ring Around the Rosy with our troops here. Uh, we'll pop over. If they want to come across the river, we'll let them. Uh, but in the meantime, we'll just start smashing them with our... Finger there. Okay, and so there's declared friendship with Germany. Double checking that he's not quite ready yet. And we're just going to put this on automate. All right, there you go. We finished a uh, monument. Let's definitely go ahead and put a couple turns into a settler until we uh, get astronomy, which we will want to do. So let's go ahead and get that tile now. Because we're going to have to play catch up. And so one more thing, just in case you don't know as well, that so in this situation, if you take a look here, if we take great people, so nobody's recruited a great profit yet. If we take a look here, nobody is actually earning great profit points. So we are, even though we're, we've been set so far behind because of all this barbarian shenanigans, we're actually in a decent position. We're going to get in two turns, we're going to get this holy site going here. And then we would get like worse comes to worse we could also you know it, it makes sense to do this um to buy that now because worst case scenario we could override these forests and not wait for the builder and just place down the holy site in two turns um however i would still wait for the builder because i just don't like wasting production and i'm not that worried about it however if the situation was different and there were people that were earning great profit points and stuff like that and there were less religions available then i would definitely uh just say you know screw the forest and uh lay override it with the district so they were they were stupid enough to come across uh so so much for me saying that their their ai is good no i'm kidding uh but so we killed it with the slinger there for more experience. We're just going to heal with our warrior and we're going to continue to just repel them with our crackhead slinger here. Um, meanwhile, though, speaking of which, let's go ahead and take a shot with the slinger and then let's finish them off with our warrior. And all of a sudden, it's not looking so bad, right? Uh, Coupe still hasn't declared friendship with us. That's weird. Huh. But either way, because of this whole barbarian stuff, we're in a good position here where as soon as we get astrology, we would be going straight into uh, animal husbandry and then archery. And with our two slingers and the warrior, that's more than enough to defend against his aggression, even if we do settle the city and piss him off and, and aren't able to. And again, remember I said too, that once, once you finish the ancient era, the, the AI is less likely to sneak attack you. Um, and they're more likely to denounce you and then you can, can kind of expect it and prepare ahead of time, right? Uh, most of the sneak attacking, like not all of it, don't get me wrong, there's exceptions to the rule, but most of it happens, um, whatchamacallit, in, in the ancient era. All right, so we got our Pantheon. Is it still there? And no, it's not. All right, so uh, unfortunately for us, we are not going to have good holy sites anymore. And probably at this point in time, I would just say, screw it, and I would switch and not do a religion game with her at all. And just be like, oh, okay, well, I got astrology. Clearly, it's not in the cards that we're going to have any good holy sites. Um, and just pivot because it's still not too it's not too late in the game in order to pivot out of this and make the best of this of the I almost almost swore again but make the best out of the less than ideal situation I'm gonna actually hope that he attacks the injured slinger so we get our promotion uh, meanwhile pantheon wise what is here the builder one I keep taking the builder one in like everything <laughs> uh what do we got? Pastures? Plantations? Plantations? Yeah, I would go for the plantations here. Um, so, Goddess of the Festival and take that one. That's 
That's the positive aspect. All right, so we'll attack here and kill him. And get some extra gold and whatnot and all that fun stuff. And then head to early empire next. So we also triggered her ability there by killing the barbarians. We are going to continue chasing that scout. However, I'm not going to go into the marsh uh, to do it. <laughs> and there seems to be another bar... Oh, yeah, there it is. There's another barbarian camp down to the south. So I would deal with it accordingly. Especially once we got our archers, I'd start saving this money up now in order to um, get them going. And after this settler comes out and heads over yonder, I would start a builder because we do have irrigation. So we could go ahead and get that sugar up online. And then from here, I'd pivot into pottery. Oh, we already got pottery. My bad. I pivot into writing in order to start taking advantage of our nice campus there. Um, although we would need bronze working as well to... to lay our campus down here um but yeah that would be that and again i will just stay just for the extra couple turns until the ancient era ends this is so weird that he's not declaring friendship like i don't know don't know what's going on man but like i already said actually we'd be a-okay either way here we have enough we have an oh I forgot they killed themselves I would have started coming down there ah yeah another one of us no dogs in heaven. so again check the relationship first it's minus five that's still not too bad at all by any means send the delegation and now we're we're far enough in the game where we just pay for her open borders and there see like I said remember t between 12 and 19 12 is the low end and so she is a lot more inclined to do it and again take a look here you'd obviously try to uh send her trade routes in order to make her happy had she actually been like right beside us or something and not just have her galleys not off to quite the start that we would have wanted however you roll with the punches and you do what you can but you can see here clearly we are safe and again i know i've said it like five times but i really do mean it we would be okay defending against his aggression us taking the city would tick him off that's fine um but we're more than i'm more than comfortable fending him off as i showed in the previous uh game launch but so i'm not sure how experienced you are i have a series of videos there's uh i think five or i think there's six of them now actually now that i think of it but each video has five different short tips in it nothing like this marathon for <laughs> all the videos i think the longest one is like 12 minutes or something but anyways there's five tips in each video that can help like i I made them for beginners to help beginners out, but I have lots and lots of people commenting saying that they, you know, they're intermediate layers or, or they've been playing hundreds of hours and they still find them helpful. So if you are interested in checking that out, I'll put a link in the top right hand corner of the screen. Other than that, this marathon has gone on more than long enough. So I'm going to call it quits for the the day or, or morning or whatever you want to say and if you haven't already please do me a favor and leave a like on the video it really does go a long way towards helping the channel get discovered better yet if you know somebody who plays the game like whether it's a friend or even a group of people who you're involved with whether it's on facebook or reddit or wherever discord you know share the video out it really does help and i really would appreciate it but my begging is done so i'm just gonna shut up now and hopefully i'll see you in the next one